Can male animals give birth? Pigeons can do math. <laughs> Hello, I am Kang. Welcome to Kang Knows the Home of Knowledge. The animal kingdom is an undeniably diverse place with around 8 million species of animals on the planet. Today, Kang will share with you the facts that will change the way you view the animal kingdom and the connections between all living creatures on Earth. All of us are part of the same tree of life. Are you ready? Sure, let's discover it! Number 1. Finches helped us understand where we came from. A common fact is that Charles Darwin got his idea of natural selection in his voyage to the Galapagos Islands. But did you know where he got the idea from? Brains! Ah, ah, ah. Well, not that one! In this house, this idea was from finches, normally called Darwin's finches. There are 16 species in this pivotal group. They famously evolved to have different beaks, which are treated to different food types. The story tells that the morphological differences between the species sparked the theory of natural selection. But Kang thinks probably the giant tortoises played a part in this story as well. Sadly, most of the tortoises and some of the finches are vulnerable to extinction. Number 2. Dolphins are even more right-handed than humans. Roughly, 90% of humans are right-handed. Poles are also right-handed. Kangaroos tend to be lefties. Giraffes usually put up their left leg before the right when sinking down for a drink. Meanwhile, dogs wag their tails to the left or right, depending on the mood. Now, a new study confirms that bottlenose dolphins or Perseus hernicatus lean to the right, even more so than we do. To find out exactly what gives the savvy swimmers the right side bias, we need more researchers. There are still plenty of questions unanswered by us. So interesting. Number 3. Who is the shortest living animal in the world? We all want to live longer, so we have paid lots of attention to define the longest living animal and admire tortoises and sharks for its 100 year lifespans. But what about the critters who aren't so lucky? What about the animals who only live for a matter of months, weeks, even days? Some insects, mammals, fish, and reptiles have their shortest lifespans. For example, the average lifespan of adult mayflies could be counted in hours. It reproduces and the nice during this very short window of adult life. Lunar mob adults that can't eat has an average adult lifespan of only 7 days. Humans are so lucky since the human lifespan is increasing. So, we should enjoy whatever we have. So, remember to stay happy! Number 4. Are birds dinosaurs? When we think about dinosaurs, we often envision about a large and scary animal. Nothing thanks to the friendly birds. However, the majority of evolutionologists except that birds are dinosaurs, or more accurately, the dinosaurs had evolved into birds. Some dinosaurs have this very specific signature, a hole in their hip bones where the leg joint is attached, and so the birds. No other animals have this. Many dinosaurs look a lot more bird-like than you realize. Have you seen Ancheronis huxelli or Caniptelis dui? They are bird-like dinosaurs. That's not good to find. Even Velociraptors have feathers. For Kang, it's clear that birds are just small, evolved dinosaurs. It seems to keep this in mind the next time you go bird feeding. 
How about you? Number five. Have dinosaurs gone extinct? This is a very good question. There were thousands of species of dinosaurs. A group of dinosaurs called Maniraptoromorpha gave rise to what today are called breeds. T-Rex, sauropods, ankylosaurs, orthopods, ceratosphenes, etc. did not evolve into birds or any other species. They went extinct. It's so true. The mantra, you adapt, evolve, compete, or die, is a truth with not only the human world, but also with organisms as well. Number six. Can male animals give birth? In humans and animals, females bear the burden of childbearing. However, there seems to be an exception to every rule. In the animal kingdom, Kang knows that the responsibility to give birth is shifted from female to male in three groups of animals. It is seahorses, highfish, and sea dragons. The female will lay her eggs into a specialized pouch on the front side of the male's tail to carry her babies. Interestingly, seahorses tend to produce a large number of babies, around 2,000 at a time. It is because their babies are very, very small and vulnerable. Just less than 1% of the hatchlings survive to adulthood. This reminded Kang of the fact that unfertilized queen ants can give birth, but only males emerge from the eggs. Number 7. Male birds are often more colorful than females. Unlike the human world, in the kingdom of birds, the male counterpart of the species is often more colorful and striking than the females. During the mating season, Males attract females by showing off their vibrant feathers. Many experiments have shown that when this occurs, female birds are more likely to choose a mate with more brightly colored plumage. One of the most widely accepted reasons for the dull feathers of many female bird species is that they need to be camouflaged in order to avoid a predator attacking while nesting. If a female in the nest out in the open is brightly colored, both herself and her nesting flock would be incredibly vulnerable to predators due to standing out like a store thumb. This fact shows us the unconditional love of mothers to their children. They are always willing to sacrifice their beauty for the kids. Even if we love them with all our hearts, it still won't be enough. Number 8. Pigeons can do math. We all know that pigeons are famous as messengers due to their natural homing abilities. However, for math, you might think being gifted in arithmetic and calculus is something exclusive to humans. But it turns out, pigeons also can deal with numbers. They can count to at least 9 and sort from lowest to highest. This bird is quite intelligent, and you can do that equation because that pigeon over there can. Try harder! Number 9. Shrikes kill fewer than 10 people per year. Humans kill about 100 million sharks per year. I realize that a lot of people don't have sympathy for sharks due to its fearsome reputation. I'm also scared of sharks, but just the macro ones. The spiny dolphins, I am being to the cute side, you know. Classic movies take sharks in a negative light and as threats to human life on the seas. We think sharks as monsters, but in fact, sharks kill only about six people a year worldwide. In addition, did you know that the most human deaths from animals are not actually due to wild ones like mountain lions, wolves, bears, or sharks? Bees, wasps, dogs, and 
snakes are far more responsible to the depths each year than wild animals. I think it's time that we should turn the tables and refer to the actual numbers to have a fair view. Number 10. You are what you eat. Believe it or not, if a person eats large quantities of carrots, pumpkin, or anything else with tons of carotenoids, his or her skin will gradually turn yellow orange, something like this. For flamingos, the phrase, you are what you eat, holds more truth than it might for humans. When a flamingo chick is born, it isn't pink at all. In fact, it is born gray. Its familiar pink color comes from its diet. Its natural diet would consist of many algae, shrimp, and plankton. All of these have what we call carotenoids, the same pigment which makes carrots orange. It's this pigment or coloring that turns flamingos pink. Flamingos and zoos often lost their coloring until zookeepers supplemented their diet. Eating good food is important. And luckily, I really love sweet and orderly foods, so it's still a journey for me to be healthy and fit. But it's worth a try, right? That's all for today's Not Sharing. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to see you soon. Kang knows a home of knowledge. Bye.